One of the greatest feelings on earth is freedom. The feeling that you have all the space that you need to be yourself, to grow, and be at peace. Many of us experience this sense of freedom as kids, and then the older we get and the more responsibilities we have, we start to feel much less free. Freedom can start being something that we only experience on vacation or for brief moments in the morning before we start our day, but it doesn't have to be like that. If you've been feeling weighed down by life, then this video is for you. I'm Asia Suler of One Willow Apothecaries, and this video is a guide to help you feel free again. Freedom is our natural state of being. This is why it feels so good when we feel free. Every other being on earth has that sense and that feeling of freedom inside of themselves. This is why it can feel so healing to be in nature or spend time with an animal companion. It's heartening for me to remember that freedom is the natural state of the world and the natural state of being because it means that for as weighed down as we can feel, that sense of freedom is just a step away. Even though we've quote unquote grown up, we still have the ability to be a child in this world. We are the earth's children. And so there are some simple things you can do to feel that freedom again of being young at heart. The very first thing is to spend unstructured time in nature. Now, many of us like things like hiking or wildcrafting herbs, and that's beautiful, but it tends to be going out in nature with a purpose. It's just another way to have a checklist sometimes. So if you really want to feel free, get yourself out in nature without any plan whatsoever. I like to call this the medicine of rambling. I am a notorious rambler. It can be hard sometimes for people to hike with me because I get sidetracked. I want to veer off, go off the path, look at a certain tree, sit with a certain rock. But if you think about it, this is how you operated as a kid. You weren't trying to go from point A to point B. You were just trying to experience the world. And you let yourself slow down enough to see the delights that are there. As an adult now, one of the things that you can do is schedule this time for yourself to take time in nature. And then once you're there, just let go, explore, see what calls you in. It's amazing how much our sense of time can change when we let go of our agendas. Notice when you're in nature too, how all the other beings feel around you. Literally hug a tree or put your feet in a cool stream or hold a rock. What is their sense of freedom? How do they feel about existence? I promise you that there's so much medicine in just tuning into the freedom that is all around you. The second tip to feel free again in your life is to turn off all clocks. So that includes computers and phones as well as watches. So time, as we know it, it's a construct, right? Time is always shifting. The length of the day is shifting. Our experience of a minute can be really different. Think about how long a minute feels when you are doing push-ups or holding a plank versus how long a minute feels when you're scrolling on social media. Totally different, right? So when we take the factor out of being able to see time, we actually unchain ourselves from time. We unchain ourselves from the to-do list and we instead can just experience reality as our body is perceiving it. So one of my closest friends 
observes an Orthodox Shabbat every single week, and she has really inspired me to try this by starting to turn off my clocks at sundown on one day and leaving them off until sundown the next. I often do this on one of the weekend days when I'm a little bit more free with my time and I can let go of my work. And it's amazing to see how much my perspective of reality shifts when I don't have a clock to look at to know what time it is. All I can go off is my body's time, my body's rhythms, and the rhythms of the world around me. Not only does it make moments so much richer, but it slows me down into this sense of complete spaciousness. So if you're feeling any sense of being constricted by life right now, if you're sensing that you need more freedom, try turning off your clocks for a day and it can be incredible how much will shift. The last freedom practice is to learn about one wild edible that's growing near you. I think part of why we struggle with feeling freedom is because we live in a capitalistic society where our time literally means money and where we need money to take care of our basic needs. That's stressful. That's something that inherently heaps upon us a sense of being constricted. So when you learn something like one wild edible or one medicine that's growing in your garden or growing as a weed in your neighborhood, you start to unchain yourself from the shackles of capitalism and materialism to see that truly everything we need to survive is here around us. True freedom is knowing that you're taken care of, that you have the space to be yourself, and that the elements that make our life possible don't require us to fit ourselves into a box or deny our body's natural way of functioning or taking pleasure in existence. It's amazing how just finding one herb to interact with, knowing that you can nibble on that herb when you're hungry or collect it when you need medicine, how that can really help us create this sense of being so free. Human beings are meant to feel free. And the natural world is here to help us remember just how free we truly are. I know when I first started studying herbalism, one of the most incredible side effects was realizing that I am so much more free than I think. And it's been so amazing to see how that sense of freedom has only grown the more I've learned. So if you're interested in deepening your herbal knowledge, definitely check out my online catalog of classes. Each class is a deep dive into a particular topic and the plants that can help support you along the way. Plants are so good at helping us to connect into this essential state of freedom. They know exactly what it means to be free in this world, and they will show you. Once you're on my website, you can also sign up to become a part of the inner circle. Once there, I will send these videos directly to your inbox, as well as buy monthly missives that can help you open the portal to connecting to the world around you and to the nature that surrounds you and your home. And so now I'd love to hear from you. What is it that's helping you feel free right now in your life? I think when we take a moment to share with each other, we can often realize that the freedom that feels so far away is so much closer than we think. So thank you so much for watching, and maybe I'll see you out wandering on the trail.